Hi Pisces, this is your June monthly tarot reading. We'll have uh, five separate spreads in this monthly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. Then we'll have an X. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end, we'll get you an advice for the whole month of June. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in June. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords, uh, clarified by the Nine of Swords. We have uh, the King of Cups, clarified by the Star. Uh, we have the Lovers. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Nine of Cups uh, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. And we have the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or another Pisces. We also have Aquarius, Gemini, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm going to reveal a secret, Pisces. You've got this King of Cups who is suffering in silence. They think of you as uh, a wish come true. They think of you as uh, the love of their life. And uh, they want to marry you. <laughs> Alright? For some of you, it could be you, Pisces, who is suffering in silence. But since uh, my readings are for, uh, you know, people incoming, when I do readings for a particular zodiac signs, I usually ask who is, who is coming in, right? And then I ask a few other things. But this, in this case, it's the King of Cups who is suffering in silence, right? So most likely it's uh, a fellow water sign, Cancer Scorpio or, or another Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. If they're not a water sign, they could be mature, but at the same time, very, very loving. Speaking of them suffering in silence, uh, to the left from the King of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Swords, and we also have the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. So the Eight and the Nine of Swords, you know, one card is amplifying the other, basically, right? The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is stuck, trapped in their own thoughts. The Nine of Swords, clarifying it, is a card of somebody who can't sleep at night, somebody who can't believe that they fell for someone so hard, all right? Um, the High Priestess is a card of, one of the interpretations of the High Priestess is a card of a secret, alright? That card could be interpreted multiple ways, but the, the secret card, the secret interpretation is, I think, is the most applicable here, okay? So you're just not aware of the fact that this person is uh, thinking of you all the time, or perhaps this is how they're going to be feeling at some point in June after the two of you get acquainted. Um, the King of Cups is clarified by the star. The star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but uh, the star is a card of a wish come true. You know, To be honest with you, this reading kind of reminds me of a reading of another zodiac sign. I can't remember which one it was. But um, I'm saying that because there's two wish come true, wish granted cards in a tarot deck, and uh, both of them are here in this reading. And that other zodiac sign also had two. I also have both of them. Anyway, yeah, they think of you as a wish come true, something or someone they always wished for, hoped for, or someone like you, right? And uh, the lovers in the middle could be a Gemini you're dealing with. The lovers, in my opinion, is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And it could simply be the lover of your life card. It's also a card of a choice, all right? So you will have a choice to make... Pisces once this person reveals their feelings to you. But um, I don't really see you hesitating, right? With cards like that in the potential outcome, I, I think you're going to go for it. <laughs> um, they're all minor kind of cards, but they're great. They're great cards. We have uh, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and uh, the Ten of Cups. I really like this mix of Pentacles and Cups, those cards in particular, right? The Nine of Cups, again, is a card of a wish come true. The Knight of Pentacles in the middle could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn you're dealing with. But with the Knight of Pentacles, people always plan ahead. You know, this is the most serious, the most uh, stable, the most grounded knight out of all four nights. The Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term. Okay, and like very established, down to earth, long term. The Ten of Cups right next to the deck um, is the Happily Ever After card. It's a family card. It's a. Uh, one of the best cards when it comes to emotional fulfillment in a relationship or marriage. So basically, you're getting emotional fulfillment, right? You get love, emotions, lovey-dovey <laughs> type of energy with the Nine and the Ten of Cups. And at the same time, the Knight of Pentacles is a backbone, right? This is when people have money in the bank 
and uh, they enjoy their uh, just basically stability, it's very stable commitment to marriage. So those three cards are really good cards they have together, especially in the potential outcome. All right, so yeah, um, expect this King of Cups to reveal their feelings at some point uh, in June. And uh, yeah, in case you were wondering how they feel, yeah, they're deeply in love with you or will be deeply in love with you after the two of you get acquainted. And, uh, uh, you know, the potential is just amazing. All right, really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. Pisces, if you are already me, all right? Or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have uh, the Queen of Swords, uh, the Two of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is such a great spread, Pisces. You guys are a power couple. I assume you are the King and the Queen of Swords, both of you. You can assign the roles as you wish. Another way to interpret this is perhaps you're going to someone's wedding or an engagement party <laughs> or a housewarming party. If that's the case, then both of them are probably air signs. But, um, right, uh, for most of you, this is you and your person, okay? Uh, this is a power couple. Two people on the same page. Perhaps you're hatching a plan to conquer the world. <laughs> I don't know. But you're definitely on the same page, right? The, the Two of Cups in between, the King and the Queen of Swords, yeah, this is a card of when two people see eye to eye. It's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of a soulmate connection. But yeah, you're definitely, um, you know, feeling the same way about what's going on. The Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of an equal give and take, it's a card of balance. Alright, so this is an equal partnership, equal give and take. You're on the same page. You can always leave me a comment, let me know what's going on here, if it's not too personal, not too private, but perhaps you're starting something new, or perhaps you're getting to this point in your relationship where you're a power couple, you know, or perhaps that's the way uh, p other people see you in June, right, you and your person, right, you're definitely on the same page, crystal clear, you're crystal clear about what's going on, right, neither the king or the queen of swords have any doubts, or, yeah, both of them are crystal clear about what's going on. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, um, Pisces, in June. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have Justice, the Sun, the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Well, <laughs> here's the deal, Pisces. <clears throat> in the very beginning, we have Justice. Justice is a very serious card, right? Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, but justice could be a major, major apology coming from your person. This is them wanting to make things right with you. This is them wanting to get serious with you. All right? And uh, I think the answer is going to be yes. I don't see any rejection. I think you're going to give them a second chance. I don't see you even hesitating. The three of ones on the bottom of the deck um, is most likely connected with the Ace of Wands right next to the deck. You see how the person in the Three of Wands is holding on to one of the Wands, right? They got three Wands, they're holding on to one of them. And uh, the Ace of Wands um, is featuring a Wand and a Hand, <laughs> right? That's exactly the Hand and the Wand uh, we see in the uh, Three of Wands. I hope that makes sense, right? So I think this is you guys making a decision to move forward. Right, the sun to the left from the Ace of Wands could be a Leo you're dealing with. The sun is a Leo major iconic card, right? And at the same time, the sun is a card of clarity, and it's the happiest card in the deck. All right, so I think you're going to be happy. This person is back. They will apologize to you. They will want to make things right with you. Perhaps uh, they will out outline a plan for the two of you to move forward together. Right, and uh, you will. Yeah, I see you moving forward. Right, uh, the Page of Pentacles can find the Ace of Wands. You know, it could be a key to their apartment or a key to their house. Right, or it could be a piece of jewelry in a small box. <laughs> um, the Page of Pentacles. The thing about the Page of Pentacles, it could be something tangible, something you can touch. Right, so a key to an apartment or a key to someone's place qualifies, and so does a piece of jewelry in a box. All right, uh, but the uh, Page of Pentacles could be paperwork, right? Perhaps you decide to move in together and you sign a lease on a place together, where both of you are in that in that lease in that contract, or something like that, right? So yeah, I see it as a reconciliation. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Pisces, in June. We have uh, the Seven of Swords, the Emperor, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the Knight 
of Pentacles and we have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with an Aries, an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Very specific reading. The Emperor right there in the middle is a boss figure. And they feel sorry about something that happened in the past. And what happened in the past was the Seven of Swords, the first card that came out. The Five of Cups clarifying the Emperor is them feeling sorry or regretting what they did or perhaps didn't do. Alright? So for some of you, perhaps they lied to you or they gave you a false promise. They, perhaps they promised you a promotion or a raise and uh, they never delivered. And perhaps they knew that this wasn't going to happen. All right? Or they misinformed you on something. Or they feel that they screwed up. Perhaps, again, they promised you something and they thought it was going to go through, but it didn't. All right? So they should have, you should, you, you, it should have been on paper, I guess. For others of you, it could be your ex-boss reaching out to you because uh, they feel sorry that they, they let you go. Okay? they sorry that they let you go. Okay, and the, the moon on the bottom of the deck, that's you, that's your major arcana card, Pisces. All right, and the knight of pentacles right next to the deck, this is what's coming uh, from the emperor. Okay, and uh, it could be something, it could be some kind of a compensation, you know. If they want you back working for them, and they will obviously extend that offer with the knight of pentacles. And uh, they better, they better give you some money, <laughs> okay. If they, if this is your existing boss and uh, they screwed up in some way, then they will give you a new promise. They will give you um, something, something else in exchange. Perhaps, like I said, if they couldn't deliver on that particular thing, they will find a way to compensate you, to give you something else, something different. They will find a way to give you more money, but it's going to be not the way it was supposed to be uh, originally, but they will find another way to give you more money, to give you a promotion or something like that. They'll figure this one out. Okay? But uh, yeah, the Emperor feels sorry. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Alright? Cool. Here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Pisces, for the whole month of June. We have uh, the King of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is pretty much a repeat of the first spread, the new love spread. As soon as I saw the King of Cups, I knew this was going to be <laughs> about that. From the advice perspective, Pisces, I guess, give them a chance. But again, I don't see you really reject... I didn't see you rejecting them in the first spread. Perhaps this is just a way of the universe to confirm um, that yes this person is uh, you know your soulmate there is there's so much love in this spread love and suffering <laughs> the nine of swords right next to the king of cups is a repeat card just like the king of cups right uh, this is them i think uh, madly in love with you right and uh, the rest is them just being expressing their love to you let's just put it that way the page of cups this is them reaching out to you approaching you asking you out on a date sending you flowers and then it will very quickly get upgraded to the knight of cups right next to the deck you know the knight of cups is the most romantic the most loving knight out of all four knights this knight is often referred to as the knight in the shining armor prince charming and there's two people in the two of cups right on the bottom of the deck that's you and them and this is a different deck, I use different decks for different spreads, so again, this is just a confirmation from the universe that yes, this person is coming in, and uh, again, from the advice perspective, yeah, give them a chance, and I think you will see that it's all going to be all right. <laughs> all right, Pisces, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Pisces, have an amazing month.